front of a home that John Diamond built. John Diamond is one of the most exclusive contractors in the Washington area and the quality of his home will speak for itself. We're going to walk through this home and I want to show you the quality of vanilla plastering. When we walk through the home and you watch the video, always look at the lines, the angles, the cleanness of the job, and the total overall quality of what 25 years invested in me, it speaks for itself. Beautiful ceiling. It's called a pattern brush ceiling. All the swirls goes runs the same direction. Sort of looks like waves, but it's nice. A lot of plasters will just figure eight them and mix them all up. This is a much much better sign of quality. And like I spoke outside, always notice the lines and the angles of the room. The straightness of the corner bead, the sharpness of the corners. This is the gentleman's kitchen. And the prize ceiling in this house is the dining room ceiling. Absolutely gorgeous. You can find a plaster that can make a prettier ceiling than that, iron. And once again, this is a drop center piece. It's handmade. It's not molded. It's made strictly by hand. I think probably weighs 80 pounds. And this was my gift to the gentleman for plastering his house. He left me to his new home and I gave him this ceiling no charge. This is just a standard ceiling. I like to decorate all my ceilings just like this. I uh, we don't for now plaster and don't even charge extra for these decorations. A lot of plasters in the business will charge for every decoration that they do. But here at Finale Plastering, we don't. Our motto is, we don't want to work for you, but we would love to work with you. And by working with me, this is the quality of room and house that you get. This is a nice looking wall. It's a little different. It's double the amount of work. What we do, we brushed it, then we textured over the brush. <clears throat> I call this particular finish brush texture. It's double work, but it's, it's a modern finish, and it's very, very elegant. <clears throat> we always talk about quality. Plastering's an art. All plasters are not artists. A good way to tell a quality plaster job is not only the lines and the angles on the ceiling, but if you look at the baseboard, here's a very good example. You have a wall here that's probably 25 feet long. <clears throat> and with the oak trim, there is no gaps. There's no spaces, no gaps. Or in this case, no painters caulking to fill the gaps in. This is a raw plastered wall. It is not painted. And here's a piece of baseboard, 25 feet long. And there is no gaps between the baseboard and the wall. We pay a lot of attention to our bases. And the base is the bottom of the wall. I was always taught, if you keep the trim carpenters happy and the electricians happy, you have a successful business. When we plaster homes, all the floors are covered with red rosin paper and all the windows are covered with plastic. If you notice the plywood, the flooring, it's down. It's very clean. We specialize in being neat. 
every day after we get done working. Wherever area in the home that we worked on, we clean up. When the homeowners come in at the end of the day, or the general contractor, the job is very presentable and very, very neat throughout the whole course of the job. Once again, in a room like this, lines and angles, you have not just 45s, you have splay angles. Notice on the ceiling from the flat to the, to the splay angle, how nice and straight it is. Notice the can lights in the ceiling. The job that the board hangers did, applying the wall board, there's no gaps. That all the wall board is very tight to the can lights and registers and receptacles. Notice how clean the glass is, the windows. All our wood jams are duct taped off before we plaster. Another good example about taking care of electricians. I said that we put duct tape before we plaster over the boxes. Notice how clean this box is. There's a black piece of wire, but yet it's black. It's not coated with plaster. Very neat work. George Fanella. This is my son Richard. I was plastering homes since 1982. Rick's a recent graduate from Shawroy High School and within a couple years hopefully he'll be he's gonna take over the business. This home here is in Shawroy, Pennsylvania, Fallfield Township and there's a lot of nice plaster work on the inside. You can see we even do exterior plastering square round it don't matter we can do it but pay attention to the neatness the cleanness of this to the plaster worked into the stone and the soffit here's something different that you don't see every day this gentleman has a dome ceiling Notice once again the roundness of the dome. We pattern brushed it the whole way up through. What makes a plaster job a good plaster job is lines and angles. And throughout this home, this room over here in particular, you can see the sharpness of the corners the straightness of the angles and the quality of the beadwork. A good foundation to a plaster job is the board hanging. My board hangers was hanging for me for 20 years. The same guys. I don't hire people, different people for every job. I try to keep the crew together. The straightness of the corner beads, the sharpness of the angles is 
what makes a quality plastering job. I'm also very proud of our smooth. Smooth is either right or it's wrong. It's either smooth or it's not. And here on our smooth walls, basically they're flawless. All of our smooth is done with 500 watt halogen work lights, which pulls out all the imperfections as the plasters are going down the wall. On every new home I do, over the dining room table, free of charge, I do a drop center piece. It's just my way of thanking you for the job that you gave me to do. That particular drop center piece probably weighs 80 pounds. It's handmade. That's solid plaster. It's not one of them little plastic things you buy at Lowe's that is made custom on that ceiling and it's 